Hey guys, it's Legio, and we're back with City Skylines Mahegan, episode 14. So, yeah, it's been quite a while since I got a video up, and uh, I'm sorry about that. Basically what happened is I took time off for the holidays, as I'm sure many of you did, and uh, I enjoyed my family. Uh, we celebrate Christmas, so I had a fairly good Christmas for 2020. Uh, I couldn't see my family, but me and my wife made a pretty, pretty good time. I ended up working Christmas Day, so we celebrate like Christmas Eve. And uh, I did get to have a COVID-friendly family uh, Christmas afterwards in early January. So I did get to see them, although it wasn't exactly how you'd like to do things, but it's the world we live in right now. So hopefully you guys had a good holiday. Hopefully uh, whatever you celebrate, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you celebrate something other than Christmas, uh, put that in the comments down below. I'm very interested in other celebrations. Uh, one of my good friends, he is uh, Jewish, so he, he explained some Hanukkah stuff to me. And it's just interesting. I grew up uh, in a Catholic school, so I know about like basic, uh, you know, Jewish practices. But, you know, I'm very interested in other cultures. And it's different hearing about it from somebody rather than just reading it. So enough of that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, on the screen and for this episode, we are doing a lot of uh, business stuff. And... There was a comment, I'll put it on the screen now, and it's by Mr. Powerbomb. And uh, he commented on this area I'm working on now on the screen about how it wouldn't be that bushy you know, with so many trees. And you know what, I agreed with him. Uh, he made a very good point. So I cleaned up the area and made it, I took inspiration from some nearby shopping centers uh, by me and kind of, you know, used them as a guideline template. It is a video game, so I took some liberties with some things. And uh, spent a lot of time using the ploppable grass. Uh, that's what you see me doing there. That just took forever. So I cut a lot of that out in my editing because I don't. I, I know I wouldn't want to sit there and watch some guy just plop grass all day. But you'll see the final result. It's much more. Uh, the final result. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, it's much cleaner. It's a much cleaner look. I'm very happy with uh, how it turned out. Did put some trees and bushes in it, but not near like what I had. Um, it still acts as a barrier, which is what I like, but it's not like, uh, well, I don't know what you'd say, but it, there you see the bushes. You can see, like, if you're walking on the street or driving by, you'd still see those businesses are there, because he brought up a good point of those businesses would want to be seen. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate that comment, so thank you for that, sir. And uh, if you guys notice stuff like that throughout the series, point it out. I want this to be uh, realistic while having fun and giving you guys a voice on the channel because, you know, YouTube to me is the ultimate medium for telling people what you want and then they can go and create it. So, yeah, we are now building some apartment buildings and I model these after apartments by where I used to live. Uh, I won't give that away necessarily, but these are basically the exact models of apartments that I had a lot of friends live in. They all lived in this apartment complex, and these models are basically that. So I thought it were it would work. I see these kind of apartments behind these shopping districts all the time. Uh, so I thought, you know, it worked. Coming up here, you're going to see me build a lot of uh, businesses on what I'm calling the, uh, the high-speed strip for R2s. I couldn't really think of a better name. I guess I could just look at the street name and go with it because I think this game does a good job making streets. So we're going to add some businesses here like a Cracker Barrel because those are always near highway exits in my opinion and I want to, you know, it's got to be in a suburb because Cracker Barrels are everywhere in the Midwest and this is a Midwestern Great Lakes city. Like I said, it's a hybrid of St. Louis meets Chicago, and near me there's Cracker Barrels by all these interstates and highways. So, had to get that in there. I don't know how realistic the uh, detailing around the parking lot area are, but I think it looks pretty. And you know, at the end of the day, City Skylines is what I want it to be and what you want it to be. So, yeah, we ended up making it pretty. Uh, yeah, so some more news. Uh, I got quarantined after <laughs> the new year. So basically what happened is I work for a government, a government 
uh, that takes code very, very seriously, like super serious, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. It's a, uh, I felt safe, if anything else. I feel safe with this employer, I should say. But basically what happened is uh, I got a viral infection in my lungs is what it ended up being. Just a small viral infection. I'm already better. You might be able to tell in my voice. I'm still recovering from it. Because basically, uh, one night after dinner, me and my wife were sitting there watching a movie and I started to feel a little short of breath. And I got a small, mild fever, about a 99 degree fever. So, you know, nothing insane. And I hardly ever get fever. So I was just like, okay, you know what? This is a little concerning. I'll go to the doctor tomorrow and get tested because it's, you know, the pandemic, the world's falling apart. So while I was there, uh, the doctor tested me for COVID. I test negative on the rapid test, and I call my employer and tell them, I'm like, hey, this is what happened. I tested negative. I'll still be able to work. Well, they <laughs> respond like, absolutely not. You're not coming in. You are basically banned from work until you are symptom-free for 24 hours. And by symptom-free, that means no cough, no fever, no congestion of any kind. So I've been on quarantine, and I feel perfectly fine besides, you know, I'm a little fatigued. And uh, I have a small cough of basically just getting the phlegm out of my lungs. But I mean, overall, like I feel fine. I would work if I was allowed to, but I'm not allowed to. And I get the safety protocols. It just kind of sucks because I actually enjoy going to work. It's a, it's a good job. I enjoy my job a lot. But enough about me. Uh, Legio is fine. He is COVID free. He just got a little, uh, little bug. So back to the screen, uh, I'm just filling in a lot of places and now I'm going to start putting in, I put those towers there because I feel like those towers would be right at an exit. I see it a lot where I'm at with some tall towers that aren't necessarily like eye grabbers, but they're there and uh, they help fill in the space. Uh, throughout the episodes, you'll see I'll start a parking lot and I'll start putting down the uh, parking spots, the parking spaces, and then I just skip through it because I don't think you guys want to watch me place parking spaces the entire episode because it takes forever to place those because I'm picking and they have to be lined up just right. Uh, I'm putting down the Hampton Hotel here and I'm making my own little custom entrance that goes under. I love this model. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, the drive goes underneath. I put some post lights underneath and hang some lights from the top so you can drive through and park in the back. It's not a functional in-game. Uh, driveway or parking entrance but it looks cool I think it works I think it looks pretty cool and then I put another hotel next door after I finish that detail work so yeah a lot of a uh, a lot of unnecessary detailing with this part but I love doing unnecessary detailing from time to time because basically what I'll do is I'll throw my music on like my headphones or whatever and I'll just detail and I kind of get lost into it and the way I explain it is, I'm not saying by any means I'm an artist, but I feel like an artist when I'm doing it. Makes sense. Do any of you guys feel that way? Like you're just detailing, or you're doing something in this game, and you're creating something. To me, this is art, and you're creating something, and you just get in the zone, and nothing else matters besides what you're working on. I don't know. I might be a little silly for that, and most of you probably by now shut up, but. I play a lot of music on my videos, so I figured this video I'd talk more. Let me know which way you prefer. I'll do whatever you guys want, but I like talking. It's a therapy thing, I guess. A little bit of a therapy thing. So yeah, uh, on the screen, working on a poolside area. One of those things that if I'm just going through, I'm like, oh, that'd be cool there, so I just put it in. I think the pool turned out very nice. So. As for the subscriber challenge I put to you guys, we're not there quite yet. Hopefully this video helps us get to our 100 subscriber mark. Uh, my wife, Miss Legio, is a little nervous because she's like, well, what am I going to say or do? Because I told her, I'm like, I'm going to record it live. It's going to be a live recording and she's really nervous she's going to say something stupid. To which I told her I would edit out anything stupid she says. And between you and me, because she doesn't watch my videos, I'm not going to edit out a whole lot of the stupid.
So this little section right here took me a long time, a lot of off-screen stuff with it. Uh, I built a car wash, and I feel a little silly how long it took, but I couldn't get the roads right. And then I wanted an auto parts store nearby because I just felt like those go hand in hand. There's some kind of uh, thought to the madness here, but I just couldn't get it to look right. So it took me a little bit. I didn't want to use PO on it, but I ended up POing some stuff and adding some bushes just to make it pretty because I prefer to have bushes than empty concrete everywhere. What I'm starting here is uh, something I was really excited to build and I knew I wanted to build this for a long time, and that is some car dealerships. Uh, the problem is when I started it, I didn't have a lot of props or a lot of things for a car dealership. I thought I had more than I did. So if you're like me, you hate booting the game up, getting started on a project and realizing I don't have the necessary things for this, I have to go to the workshop. But then you have to turn the game off and turn it back on. and as we all know, even with a loading screen mod, it can uh, it can take a while. Like right now, I think my loads, I'm averaging between 10 to 15 minutes for a load, which is a long time, but I have a lot of assets and mods going, and I actually use that time to do other stuff. I'll just let the game load, walk away from the computer, and you know make myself a sandwich or do something. But So I use it as downtime to get stuff done, I guess. <laughs> Seems silly. But yeah, I didn't have a lot of uh, props and or assets to uh, get these car dealerships built. So I had to go get a lot. And you'll notice I finally started using these curb props and I think they make all the world of difference with that ploppable asphalt. Or that's actually concrete, I'm sorry, that's ploppable concrete uh, that I'm using. And I'm making these entrance ways and little uh, uh, paved areas. No, I'm sorry. For the third time, I'm sorry. That is actually ploppable pavement. That's not concrete pavement. And that's on the workshop. Go get it. It's awesome. So it took me a little while to get all the props and everything because I had to go get these cars because I'd never subscribed to car props. I always thought, eh, that's kind of silly. I don't, I don't really use those. Um, I never built a car dealership before this episode because, you know, I'm still using the plot the growables and placing things by hand which don't get me wrong i love the detail it just takes forever and when i used to play this game i would just kind of speed build i'd slap my roads down zone it and then just plop 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 my hospitals my police stations my fire departments and uh yeah now i'm hand placing everything and i love it i love the look you're gonna see in the uh live play we do later i showcase some things and it makes me really really happy but I didn't have a lot for the car dealership, so I had to go get it. And I really love the flags. Look at those Toyota flags. Those are so cool. But yeah, and you'll see I use this ploppable pavement again here just to give it a nice little good aesthetic. And I tried to change up the car dealerships as much as I could and make them different, but in all honesty, car dealerships all look the same, at least to me. Uh, you have a building in the middle, cars surrounding it, and you know, just parking lot everywhere. One challenge I did have is I tried to vary the car types up and I just didn't want to bog down my computer with the whole, or the game I guess I should say. I didn't want to bog it down with it. all these props that I'm only going to use a couple times. So I just reused the cars from different lots and put them on different lots. And uh, I think you guys will forgive me on that.
built a little U-Haul area over here for storage and everything. Um, these are all over St. Louis. Uh, they're all over every city. Like, they're just everywhere. So I had to have one, and I think it makes sense <laughs> in the dealership. Right here, we build something that I'm probably a little too happy with the way it turned out. It's so silly that I put it there. But I call this the, uh, and I think I showcase it a little later in the, uh, in the live play that we'll do. Uh, so I see these pits or ponds. I call them like rock business ponds. I don't have a good name for them, but like little business ponds or industrial ponds where this water just kind of comes out. I don't know if it's like race water, runoff, rain water. I'm not really sure what it is, but I see them around these kind of areas. So I decided to build one. Uh, around that interchange. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the way the uh, dealerships all turned out. Um, I think they look very nice and they're pretty functional. Uh, during the live play, you'll see cars driving up and down the parking lot. It's kind of neat. I assume they're just car shopping. Uh, so we're getting back over to the business district area, the retail area over here. And I expand on the parking lot and I add a little strip mall kind of thing. Um, I've seen this a lot. And uh, I didn't know what to do with that space, honestly, so I figured I'd just add more shops along that strip. Instead of doing like a massive parking lot like I did on the last one, I built a series of parking lots that have different businesses and different functions for them. So you'll see I have uh, the three parking lots there. It ends up turning into like four parking lots, but the one on the right has a couple uh, connected and jutting off of it. But you'll see how it develops here in a little bit. It took me a little while to get everything even and flat. But what I'm building there, you see that U.S. Bank building. Uh, I see this where I'm at, and I know I reference it a lot, but I'm trying to use real life more to make this build, you know, as realistic as possible. So near these shopping centers, I'll see two or three, like, mid-sized towers. I don't really want to call them skyscrapers, but five, six, four buildings, sometimes up to ten or twelve, I guess. You know, I'm not, a, not exactly sure how tall they are. But I'll see them around these kind of businesses. They're typically, like, banks or offices real estate companies, stuff like that. So I figured that would fit in well here, and I think it does fit in pretty well. Uh, I think it gives it some nice uh, character and some different depth and dimensions. When you look at it in the live play, you'll see, kind of hard to see with the camera flying around so fast. That's what I like about love. I hate and love fast plays. I love that you see some really cool stuff and it gets you know the episode done and quick. But you miss some things, and you can't see all the camera angles, and it jumps and it bounces. And I try to find a speed that works, that you can see everything without wasting your time. Because when I'm doing my video edit, it's the last thing I want is for the video to just sit on one thing forever. And you're just sitting there and like, okay, I'm done, I want to move on. But one thing that I hate is, say I'm doing something, or somebody's doing something, it doesn't have to be me. They're building something that you think is really cool. They're not even commenting on it, which I could be doing right now. You want to see how it's done, but they're already past it because the frames are moving at 9,000 miles an hour. So that's what I love and hate about fast builds. They, they're they useful, but they're also a double-edged sword. Uh, you'll see those walls I put around that Arby's. Those go away. Uh, they kept breaking or changing their terrain heights every time I place something near them he probably there he saw it right there it kept doing that so I just put a retaining wall in because that maintained its height I like the look of those walls but I got tired of going back and constantly fixing them like it's super annoying so I just kind of gave up on it and then I had to add an O'Reilly's I just you know PO'd everything with that big old sign I think it looks cool 
I don't know of any O'Reilly's who do that, but hey, if you're watching this, do that O'Reilly's. It's a big old sign running along a main road, and I think it's cool. So we're getting into the home stretch of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like and or subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And we're trying to get to that 100 subscribers because Miss Legio needs to make her YouTube debut. And you guys will help get us there. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up and uh, tell your friends. So we're finishing up our retail space with the Home Depot and uh, some restaurants here. There's a PetSmart and a Planet Fitness, and that is exactly the kind of retail lot that is like right by my house. Like all those businesses are connected to each other. You know, I just put it in the game. Uh, these businesses back here aren't necessarily there, but I thought they fit because you need food, and uh, I like beat ups and I like Five Guys. So there you go. Hey there. Also in the big parking lot space, uh, we put an office building that I'm calling an urgent care because I didn't have the prompt for it, but it's, uh, it's basically an urgent care. And you'll see that they sit in the middle of the parking lot and they'll make use of that space there. Along with the Wendy's that I put in later, it's in an awkward spot, but I mean, I've seen it before where they're near entrances. You'll see what it is when it comes up. I think it, I think it works. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a neat Wendy's, I'll just say that. With this video wrapping up, again, I wanna say thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Uh, hopefully we'll get to that 100 subscribers after this episode, fingers crossed. And I really hope that uh, your 2021 is going better than 2020. Uh, 2020 was a rough year, but some good things did come out of it. Um, new job, new house, new state. And uh, so things are good for Legio. Hopefully you guys get some goodness in your life as well. Uh, another good thing is I started this channel and uh, while it's not big, it is fun. I enjoy doing this. Um, the videos may become less frequent as I get busier, but I'm always going to, I'm probably always going to be playing this game and might as well record it while I do it and hopefully add some entertainment value to you guys. Again, hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the live play in about one minute. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys we're back live in game so let's recap what we did and we'll get you guys out of here because this kind of was a longer longer episode but hopefully you guys enjoyed it because we did get a lot done in it so let's go ahead and take exit four and head into r2 and see what we got we'll start over on this side and basically we just had a lot more shopping over here so we got our hotels down here with our hampton and our courtyard we got a car wash and an auto parts store because you need that you got a movie theater here, and I really like the parking lot for the movie theater. Probably not, you know, what you see very often, but I've seen I've seen parking lots like that for movie theaters before. And uh, we got some apartments over here. One thing I want to mention is I changed the theme. I used the theme mixer, and you'll see there's no longer ruin 
uh, ruin texture along the sides of the road. I just used the theme mixer and I just picked one and eventually got one I like. So I did want to point that out. Uh, coming over here, just some office buildings. And then something that was a lot of fun to build was this area over here. Uh, some car dealerships, we got the Mercedes-Benz, we got Honda, we got Toyota. More car dealerships to come, because like I said earlier, uh, I noticed you'll have a lot of car dealerships in one area, and they're typically along like these stretches of highways and, you know, high thoroughfares, and they kind of just run alongside the road. So that's kind of what we built. I really like the look of this. I know it's silly. I always call these like uh, business pits, business pits or business ponds. That's just what I call them. I don't know that's what they're actually called. But I see these by car dealerships every once in a while, by office buildings, typically like industrial places. So uh, I wanted to throw one in there to just fill this area up because it was pretty empty. So I felt filling that up would work. So. That is basically what we accomplished, but before we end this episode, after some tweaking and everything, I finally got my time of day to work with Ultimate Eye Candy, so now we have nighttime in the heat again. And I think that just changes everything. I love the look of it. I love the contrast of these orangish yellow lights with the white street lamps. Um, I just love the look of it with parking lots and everything. I like how the neighborhoods, like, are dark but they're still well lit on the streets I, I just love the look of it i think it looks great then you got the parking lots down here and uh, i hand placed these lights on the highway it didn't come with the lights so i went ahead and placed those by hand which was actually easy i just used the prop line tool so that's our tucson night and then we'll come over here all the way over to mohegan and i think that just looks awesome i think it looks so much better Take a picture of that real quick. I think it looks so much better at night than it does during the day. Just fantastic. I love this game so much. I love that I finally got this to work. So, yeah, I'm really happy. Oh, look at that out in the distance. That is just so cool. Picture time. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way things are looking, especially at night. So, that's just so cool. But I've been rambling for quite a bit. I'm just in love with the look of this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope again you guys had good holidays. And I hope going forward 2021 is a better year for everybody. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode.